Hello everybody, this is Miss Jen. I'm here with a monthly reading for Virgo. This is for the month of May 2019. Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus. This will not resonate with everybody. And please do make sure you check out your other signs. There might be additional information for you. Or one of your other signs might resonate better. Okay. And this is a general reading. And we're going to see what comes up for Virgo for May 2019, please. Virgo, please. Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus. May 2019. Okay, we're going to go through and pick some cards here. We have... The Two of Swords. Somebody is not... Somebody is... Maybe finally seeing the light. The Two of Swords upright is not seeing the truth, blocking everything out. I think somebody is finally taken off their blindfold. Somebody is willing to look at the situation logically. And with clarity. And I, it feels like somebody is making... A mental decision really thinking about their choices and this is the three of cauldrons um, this is tip this could be celebrating this could be partying this could be drinking this could be this relationships okay sometimes the three of cups refers to a third-party relationship so somebody may be seeking, and this could be just friendships. So it feels like somebody is seeing some friendships some more clearly. And we'll get some more information about this. And it feels like this is something that's dead. <laughs> um, that's, I'm sorry, that's just, that just flew out of my mouth. That's just what spirit just flew out of my mouth here. Okay, this is, the ten, this is Rebirth. Uh, this is a, this is card twenty. This is the same as the judgment card. So it is as if someone is in the place of making decisions about a friendship or a relationship. That there might be some other too many people involved, and it feels like this is a relate. This is a situation. Could be a friendship, could be a romantic relationship that this that has been stunted, has been stopped, that there is no rebirth, there's no fixing it. Okay. We're gonna see what else comes up here. We have the justice card. Justice card is justice being served is what I'm seeing. Okay, so I'm thinking, I'm feeling here already. That there is a situation that a friendship or relationship that has gone south, and maybe a group of friends, or this could be third party. And I think that maybe the more that I am seeing things, the more I'm feeling that somebody's eyes have been open to possibly a third party relationship, a love triangle, and somebody's made decision is making the decision, hey, the there's no going back, okay? There's too much damage has been done. There's no reviving this. It's done. It's over. Somebody with the justice card has made that final decision. You think of justice. You think of the final decision, the judge making that final decision in a case. 
this is kind of what I'm feeling here that somebody is going into May because they've made a final decision. Okay. And we have the star card above. Somebody is hopeful for a new beginning. And somebody's hopeful for healing. Healing themselves is on somebody's mind. Okay. Healing themselves, I feel. And they're very hopeful that they're looking for a new start. And they're being divinely guided. So I think that blindfold came off because somebody was divinely guided. The Ten of Swords. This is a fatality. This is the final. Okay. So, you've been stabbed in the back. You've been hurt. You've been injured by somebody close to you. Somebody that you trusted. Now, the healing can begin. Because it's over now. This is endings. This is an ending. It is finally over. Okay. The worst is over is what I am feeling here. I want to move these over a little bit. I feel like the worst part of it is over. And it's time to heal. And you are being divinely guided. Okay. Six of Shields reverse. This is somebody who's tired of giving the giving a situation their all. They're tired of putting in all the work. Six of Swords, uh, Six of Shields is give and take. Okay, you get out of something what you put into it. In those cases, somebody may not have been putting in the work, and you were doing all the work. Okay, and. Um, I, th I just get the feeling of somebody is tired of that and somebody's given up. We have three of wands in reverse. We have two threes here. So this is definitely telling me, I feel like this is definitely a third party relationship. There might have been some infidelity going on or something to that effect. Okay. And the three of, three of wands in reverse is signifying to me somebody is done waiting on their happiness. Somebody's done investing time into a situation that there is no growth, into a situation that was not fair to them. Okay? And justice is being served. It's also about karma. And in the advice... Is, is the Ace of Cauldrons. It's saying, love yourself. Trust your in intuition. And you, there, you have a chance at a new start, finally. A new beginning in love. Okay? Somebody's going to have a new beginning. And it starts with self-love. Um, this is symbolizing as the final outcome for, or potential outcome for May. It is the Six of Swords reversed. That is signifying that you, by the end of May, you may not be out of the storm yet because you're just starting the healing process. You're on your way. Okay, you're on your way to healing. But you still have a ways to go. There's, you're, you're not... There's still some stormy waters ahead. So, nobody said the healing was easy. That's what I'm being told to say. Okay. And it's going to take a lot of work on your part to working on yourself. We have the Nine of Swords. This is somebody who, you've been, somebody's been very anxious, very troubled. There's a lot of anxiety here. And sleepless nights over this. Uh, this was a very difficult decision for someone. Okay. And as I just got done saying, this, re, this um, healing process is walking away 
from this relationship. Sure, it's going to cause anxiety. And it's going to hurt, and it's not going to be easy. So, what I'm feeling here for May for you guys is you're on a road that is that uh, on a road of healing after a, after this situation of being in a third party relationship where you've been injured, you've been stabbed in the back. I feel like you gave this person plenty of opportunities, and you've plenty of chances, and there have been no change. So you're finally at a point where it is over. It is done. There is no going back. There's no going back. The decision's been made. So May is going to be about working on yourself. Okay? May is going to be about loving yourself. Connecting to your spiritual self. And... Feeling the love from spirit. Feeling those healing waters. Showering you. Okay? And know that there is hope for a brand new start. A brand new love. But it is going to start with healing yourself first. And you're halfway there. You've already given up this situation I feel like you've let go, and it's just about mending those wounds. Just like any other kind of wound. If you have surgery to fix something, it takes time for that surgery, for that incision to heal. You're, it's like you're not going to have made your surgery. You're not going to have open-heart surgery and be out running a marathon the next day. Okay? So... It is just, it's just going to, time is going to, I'm hearing the words, time heals all wounds, okay? And you're on your way, even though by the end of May, you're still in some stormy waters. But the big thing was you made that conscious decision. You took off the blindfold. You finally opened your eyes to what was really going on. You felt hurt, and you're freeing yourself now. There's a new love in your environment. There's somebody coming to you as you heal. And it's saying, don't discount the relationship right off the bat. Give it a chance. Okay? So when this new person comes in, doesn't mean they're going to be the same. as this person, okay? So it does say give them a chance. And I'm going to get one of these cards here. What additional messages or advice do you have for Virgo, please? What additional messages do you have for Virgo? Caregiver. This card is about you taking care of everybody else, but not taking care of yourself. Okay? And you're busy taking care of other people. 
And I think that is your way of coping with what was really going on. I think that was what was keeping the blindfold on you because you weren't paying attention. You didn't want to see the real situation. You didn't want to see the truth. So you put all your time and energy in taking care of everybody else. Now with that heart there that is telling me that you need to concentrate on you, just like I was just saying, self-love as soon as I pulled that Ace of Cups. So you need to focus on yourself And then the rest will fall into place. Okay? I know this is a shorter video than some of the others, but sometimes the message is just straightforward like that. So this is a reading I do have for Virgo. Please do give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. If you like a personal reading, please do see the description box below. And I thank you for watching. Bye.